back again. Um, this one's just going to be a quick video. I'm just going to answer a question a gentleman asked me um, a little, you know, a week or so ago in the comments. This is quick and easy. He asked me what weather, like weather sites I look at to go offshore. And I thought, well, this is just a quick, easy video. I'm just going to tell you a couple of apps on a couple of sites I use. I will put the links in the description of the actual sites I use. There's only like two or three um, that I look at. And then the main bit is the weather. I look at, look at these different weather sites. But I'm not like everyone else. I don't look at the, well, the, the height of the water, the waves, and see two metres, three metres, any of that. I don't trust any of that. I don't really trust the Weather Bureau too much, to be honest. But what I do is I've got three different sites. I look at these three different sites, see which way the wind direction is, get an idea how strong the wind is, because when you look at all three, they're going to be a little bit different, but I'll give you a ballpark of what, what, what the weather's going to do. They'll give you an idea what the weather's going to do and what the wind's going to be like. And then what I actually do is just use my eyes. These things that used to work really well, not bad at the moment. Distance are good. And I look at, I've picked a tree out. Every time I move to a different house, I find it like the biggest gum tree, or it's usually a gum tree I can find. And that's my wind indicator. I always look at the top of gum trees or any big tall tree in the area. Pick a tree, learn which way is north, south, east and west. And when you look at it, you'll be able to see how much wind there is, you'll get an idea of the wind, and you'll get an idea of the direction once you learn northeast, southwest from where you are. So I'll look at a tree, I'll look at the sites, and then I'll actually work out myself what the weather's going to do. I'll have a ballpark on what the weather's going to do. With the waves, 99% of the time they say it's a metre, metre and a half, and it's usually under that. It's usually pretty flat. If they're saying two to three metres, usually it's not. It's usually a metre, maybe a metre and a half. I don't know how they do the, their waves, but they really freak that up. And if you're on sea breeze or somewhere saying five metres coming through, it's never easy. It's usually a couple of metres, maybe three at the max. You never see swollen stuff, really big swollen, unless we get you know, big storm surges or a cyclone up north or something. Apart from that, don't worry about the swell. I don't worry about the swell. I just look at the wind. Okay, I'll look at the three different sites, get an idea where the wind's coming from, how strong it is. I'll look outside of my favourite tree. That'll tell me roughly what the wind's doing. And then final thing, before I actually go fishing offshore, or make up my mind, I've got one more link uh, site I have a look at. And not many people know about this one. I'll put this one down in the comments as well. It is the surf cam for the seaway. But before you say anything, it's not surf flying or through anyone else. It's not like 20 seconds of footage and it cuts in and out and it's drowned in ads. I've got a link to, to the actual cam. I don't know how I found this. But once you click on it, it shows you the seaway. It shows you offshore to go full screen on your computer or phone. And it'll continuously play. It won't stop. There's no ads. So once I get an idea what the weather's doing, get an idea of the tides, because I always look at the tides as well for the seaway, because you want to know what the tide is when you're going in and out, and how big the swell is, but the, the judge of swell and the seaway, I'll look at this cam. So, that's it. It's quite simple. Three different sites, get an idea, direction, st strength of the wind. Uh, look at your favourite tree outside the night before you're about to go, just on dark, before dark, get an idea what the weather's doing. Have a look at this cam the night before you go. Just nine times out of ten, we're heading out in the morning when it's dark. So it's the late, later in the afternoon, just on dark, check the cam, check your tree, look at the weather. Usually the weather, all the weather sites get updated around 4 or 4.30 p.m. So after that, you got an updated weather forecast. That's all I do. So basically, I just get an idea with three sites. Perfect timing. Sorry guys, um, stop that for a second, that was nice. So just get an idea of what the weather is doing, the wind's doing with the sights. Look at your tree, look at this seaway cam, I'll, I'll share with you down below in the links, so um, in the comments, I mean in the description. 
So guys, just in the description, you'll see three or four different websites I actually use, plus the, the cam that not many people know about. Check that out and just make up your own mind. That's it, that's all I do. Okay, I don't listen to everyone else. I don't listen to all the disaster like massive swells and all these high winds and all this BS. Just have a look at the sites, put a little plan together, think about it yourself, have a look at your tree, have a look at the cam, make up your own mind. And you're better off just doing that. Anyway, that was a quick little video. Um, I hope it helps. I hope the links, the links down below help you. Um, and good luck guys in your next adventure. See you next week.